Back into the industrial map. Alright, so Kaigen, I think it's called like Phaedra, Rampart, Titus. So they have a lot of tanks. So I think I, what I need to do is just be a good front line for the rest of my team. So I'll be somewhere like right here. All I need to, all I need to do is be a front line and soak up damage from their tanks. Three tanks, one in assault. Should be a little bit tricky. It can be tricky because if Kaigen really starts to go off, then it could be trouble. Okay, so I think what I'll do here is try and ricochet this off. Oh, this it doesn't ricochet. No, oh, it's just barely not enough. So I'll do this and then I'll go back here. To victory. Assuming she doesn't actually dash. It'd be really bad if she dashed here. Because I, so. I don't want to waste my boomerang. My soaring shield. Okay, nice. It really didn't do much damage, did it? <laughs> okay. Good stuff. I'm gonna knock her back, get her away from us, and I'm gonna go over here and try and block against this incoming horde. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh no. <laughs> they all sprinted in. Okay. I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna go right here. So it's two, three, and then four. So I'll do something like this and then aim it this way. <laughs> oh gosh, this <laughs> that emoticon, that overcon, that's great. <laughs> oh geez, this is not looking good. Okay, that's pretty good. I avoided damage, I also hit both of these guys. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that Oz went way over there. Oh, she had gone to me instead. I don't take too much damage off that because I'm blocking. He still gets hit by Gray. Gets hit by Oz again. Okay, the 37 damage is quite a lot, so I guess it's pretty good. Missed. Okay, so I missed a lot of abilities there by dashing. I'm still in the thick of it. I can just use my Aegis again here. But I need to make sure I position it correctly. Or maybe I just dash. Dashing wouldn't be such a bad idea, actually. And then I can even root them and go like right here. Here or here. Oh, I use my time bike. No. I was thinking, do I? which one do I want to root? Do I want to root Titus or do I want to root Phaedra? Is it called Phaedra? Phaedra. Yes, yeah, Phaedra. And I'm going to uh, dodge out of his shield too, which is nice. So I got a good dash off. I don't. I did actually root him, which is nice. That attack missed, or missed me. It looks like both of them dashed towards me, but they missed again. <laughs> they missed twice, twice in a row. Never expect the double dash. All right, so we're gonna put put up the shield. I'm out of dashes now, entirely. So I need to be careful with how I do this. This should be good. And I'll go for the hit right here, and I hit three people. Can I hit just a little bit more? I can do that. It's actually pretty good. I'll go for Kaigen instead though, for now. Eesh, that was close, okay. This is looking really, really good. Fire when ready. Okay, slowed, not too big of a deal. I imagine it's a free action. Put my shield up. So he daggers her, I think that's free action as well. We're still in prep, still in prep. Only one dash from us. She got a really good shot off too, though. And blast. All right, I got all three, good stuff. Actually, I probably should have hit Rampart since Kaigen was behind a guard. So I block one. Gray gets in with some really good shots. Oh, that was a weak blast phase. Okay. I still have a couple people with my zone. Who do I want to lock down? Like Kaigen? Kaigen still has dash. And that, that just kind of puts him further away. Maybe I hit him instead. Hit him seven, then go back. Hit him seven, then go back. Okay. 
I still need to be a frontline for my team, so I'm just gonna go back. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna hit Titus then. He's gonna be out of the battle for a little bit longer. Oh, Gray's way over here. I'm gonna put this up a little bit. <laughs> Such a good skin. <laughs> nice, so he's gonna be out. Kaigen just ran away, which is totally fine. That's what he expected. And now he has one teleport, one teleport. Maybe I can just do this and hope for the best. And then go back maybe a little bit. Like go back right, right here. And I'll go ahead and use this to try and find Kaigen. Kaigen, Kaigen. For Gray. Maybe Gray can lock him down. He's pretty close to being able to use his dashes again, I think, so. The sooner we get him, the better. Oh, uh, did he just warp too? This is not good. I may actually only hit Phaedra. Ah, I only hit Phaedra. She was behind a guard. Okay, so I'm in the thick of it right now. I have no more dashes. Do I have to shield? I'll probably shield this way because I'll try and avoid him. I'm gonna do something like this. Okay. Oh, nice. I can get all three. Okay, so I may actually just 100% die here, but that's okay. It's kind of weird to say that from 94 health, but surrounded by four people in e literally every cardinal direction could be a little bit tricky. And I can only, I think I can only guard against like two of them, which is what I'm trying to guard against with Aegis, but I still have a Kaigen behind me, which can be really troublesome. And then, uh, Rampart's got a melee on me, but he's not going to go for it. Oh, I used my Aegis in the wrong direction. No, I meant to use it towards this, this downward way. Ah, uh, that's a pain. She has a really good ult. Yes, really good old. Okay. And I die. I use my, my shield in the absolute worst direction possible. That's so annoying. I thought I had aimed it correctly. Damn. Okay, I need to go like right here. Oh, that's so frustrating. I might have gotten one more guaranteed action out of that. If I had either pointed in the direction. If I had pointed in the direction of Kagan, I would have gotten at least one more guaranteed action, I think. But since I didn't, it's going to throw this into a pretty big upheaval. And now Kaigen is in a really good position to hit both of these guys and kill them. And they don't really have much of a front line to stop them either. This is really tricky. Damn. Ah, such a dumb mistake. For me. Yeah, really good double hit there. And then uh, her ult coming back up, for, uh, her ult is going to be used here pretty soon. Really needed Gray to get a kill on Rampart. So he has at least one more guaranteed action. It's troublesome. So we have a double ult here. Oh, that's not good. So bad, so bad. Uh, i try and head right here. And then try and catch him after he does his thing. We even have someone spawning behind us, which is really bad. Okay, he, he still has his shield though. He's gonna use his shield and he's gonna block her attack. Oh uh, no. And he even has uh, the purple shield as well. This is gonna be a really bad turn for us, I think. So there's the ult. Hits two. Ah, uh, man, so painful. He, he did the melee attack and then he did his ult, which uh, added like 10 more damage to each. He didn't use his shield for some reason, which is weird. If he just used his shield, he would have blocked it entirely. So Phaedra uses his ult to kill Kita. Fine. And I can probably get a kill on her if I just aim it correctly. Yeah, I'll use... Actually, nothing I use here is actually very good. I think he used my shield wrong, but I don't want to use my time bank to fix it. Yes. 
<laughs> I didn't <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I shot? <laughs> yeah. Gray's been doing really nice. Getting a lot of double hits with her drone while at the same time staying safe. I hit Kaigen, which is nice, so he's not he's locked down for a little bit longer. I can even go for like a dash into a, a triple hit here. Oh, it's really good. That is so good. If I can't hit this this triple, we have a really good uh, a good good line for winning the game here. Oh, but he has double dash. He has both his regular dash and he has a teleport. And if he's gonna teleport, he's gonna go like back here somewhere. So I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna hit him. I shouldn't be able to hit Phaedra though, at least. I won't disappoint. Oh, he went that way. Not even a scratch. Hit odds. I guess that makes more sense. Okay, at least Oz didn't die there. Oh, that's not even Oz, that's like... Yeah, it's Quirk. I've been calling him Oz this whole time. So we have a line on Titus and this chick, but she does have her, uh, she does have a, a dash. I can't hit both of these, so I'm gonna hit Titus. Titus has a dash too, though. I don't need to use my heal. Ah, uh, this is bad. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I guess that's kind of like the big trouble with Brian. If he can't get like close enough, your options are really limited. Which I mean, of course it is, but just saying out loud. Did I, I think I, I targeted Titus, so I should be able to get the hit off. He doesn't dash either. Oh, I went for Fade. Why would I do that? That was a mistake. You should have went for Titus. Titus is much less likely to dash in that situation. That was really dumb. Oh no. Okay, so we lost like all of our momentum. So I go for the Aegis forward and then attack with the spear. Something like right there. We still have Grey Old. So Grey Old can actually save us here. She can trap three, three of these people without them dashing out. That would be really powerful, but they're almost certainly gonna dash. No, she can't. Wow, well, she can warp though. If I was her, I'd warp out. Warp out like right around here. Ah, she didn't warp. But Titus did go for the dash in. Still getting hit by Quark, which is really nice. She still trapped. No, she didn't trap two people. She hit three people, trapped one, killed Quirk. And if she goes, in, oh, she didn't go past the barrier, or else she would have died from it. <laughs> She's almost 100% gonna dash out of this now, right? I can still try and go for this double hit, and then try and follow Kaigen. No, try and follow Phaedra. Kaigen still has his warp, I think. Does he? Yeah, he still has his warp. Phaedra still has her warp, so it may be a double warp here. Uh, and then he's gonna ult, like, this way. And probably hit- yeah, there's the double warp. Phaedra went really far, that's bad. But it's a good thing she's revealed. So even though she's in the stealth, uh, because of uh, Gray's setup, it's gonna hit- it's gonna show us where she's at. I should've made- uh, see, the thing is, like, let's say they didn't double warp, I would've gotten the double hit. And if I'd gone for Titus instead, it would have been guaranteed. But maybe I could still could have hit at least one person. Maybe they don't double warp. I feel like my my high EV play there was to go for what I did. So it's like from best to worst. Best is hit both. Uh, second best is one hit one. Third best is hit Titus. And then the worst option is to uh, them to double warp and I hit nobody. So three out of the four options. It's two good options versus one okay op- It's one good option versus one okay versus one okay versus one bad. So I took the option in which I had- It's one good, one okay, one okay, one bad. So it's almost like a perfect distribution of like, uh, of EV, of expected value. 
And I just so happen to get punished pretty hard. But then again, like that's in like a like a normal situation, but knowing that they were trapped in that trap, maybe going for the going for a double is much less likely than getting a double miss. Uh, I didn't even use my shield. Shoot. Maybe we can kill Titus. I'm surprised he hasn't ulted yet. But he's probably an ult now. So yeah, I should have gone for the... I should have expected the... Oh, he's going to dash way out. <sighs> I should have expected the double warp out and not expect the double hit because getting the double hit so far less likely. Yeah, I should, I should have gone for the guaranteed. Well, but see, but if I go for the double hit, it, it has the staggering effect of being able to hit at least one of the two, which is better than hitting maybe Titus, which is a little bit more guaranteed, but it's less effective. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Maybe if I go for this, I can hit him. Do something like this. Maybe I can get the guaranteed hit off. That's, <laughs> that's really unlikely. But if we can kill Kaigen and then get to round 20, by the end of it, we should win. And then Gray State, or not Gray, but Kida stay alive somehow. Because I'm expecting him to ult her as soon as he can. And I'm not really sure. Oh, nice. No, it's, it's too far away. He went too far away. Ah. That sucks. I was expecting him to go like right here. And I would have hit him. I wasn't expecting him to go that far away. Oh no. Two turns left. So I'll root these two guys and I'll try and follow Kagan. Follow my lead. Uh mistake, mistake, mistake. I didn't expect the range on that to be so short either. Oh, it's probably just like one square off. And if I'd gone just one more square forward, I would have gotten him. Yeah, that was really weird that he went in as far as he did, considering he had backup right behind him. Right behind himself. And then he's just kind of diving into the enemy backline. I think that was a mistake by him. I think I did the right play. And I just so happened to get punished there. I should actually be able to hit him with my Lance. With my ult. He did it. He, he made another mistake by diving right back into it. He should have just kept falling out to the outside and trying to let his team try and follow up with a kill on uh, Kita or somebody while he stays safe. Wow, this is a really explosive uh, little blast phase there. Doesn't hit him, unfortunately. Okay, Kaigen, how many dashes do you have left? Kaigen, Kaigen, Kaigen. He has no dashes left. Good stuff. So I can just go for something like this. Nice. Get all three. Block forward. Actually, it's not blocking forward. Uh, that's gonna have to be good enough. That's gonna have to be good enough. It's gonna have to be good enough. I'm just gonna get my time. I'm gonna get my my turn in. <laughs> I'm hoping the shield blocks at least Kaigen's shuriken. Although I may have mispositioned again. No, okay, he's not going for me. He's going for Quirk. No, I'm just going for a hit on him. It's worthless. No, the one person I didn't block against hit me. Oh, okay, there's the shield. That's good enough. No, they win because they killed Quark. No. Oh, no. No. Why? It was so close. Uh, yeah, I, I I can definitely tell where we we kind of made a mistake. Uh, I think the biggest one. What was the biggest mistake we made? I made a couple mistakes of going for like lucky plays when I didn't need to take risks at all because uh, we were already like on even footing. I didn't need to take the risk. I should have gone for the more the more likely outcome or the more. Uh, <laughs> The higher EV play, basically. Oh, my damage is pretty high. I even soaked up a ton of damage, too. Three, one, and three. Gray did really well, as well. That was a tough one. That was a real tough one. 
I'm surprised we lost the three tanks in the Kaigen. His average time was 20 seconds. <laughs> How is it even possible? Don't you usually get 15 seconds on average? How do you get 20 seconds on average? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> whoop whoop. Third uh, industrial map in a row. There we go. So they have... What's her name? Like Zuki? Yeah, Zuki, Dr. Finn, Gray, and Asuna. Whereas we have... Uh, what's that guy called? I don't know what he's called. I don't know. We're split up a little bit too much. I'm going to have to go back over there. So I'll probably do something like this to try and lock her down. And I'll position in a way that gets people who are hiding behind over there too. And I'll go probably like right here. And then try to make my way over to this, the left side of the map. <clears throat> Dare you attack. <laughs> oh man, Asuna has such a cool skin. That is so cool. So glowy. Neon looks so beautiful. It's probably like the best skin, the best series of skins in the game. That uh, that Asuna, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like some kind of like, but it's like a slight like neon bug thing, which is really cool. Oh wow, he got both of us. That sucks. We didn't even see him come up either. Oh, yikes. This is actually kind of bad. No, it's not too bad. If I just do this, I should be fine. And then do something like this. Actually, I can just use heal right now. It's a little bit early to use heal, but I think it'll be okay. Okay. And I'll move down here and just try and stick with Zuki. I'll let Gremlin do his own thing because he has a really long dash. But I'll try and sit close to Zuki if I can. Protecting Zuki, I think, is the most important thing I can do in this game. But the thing is, if it's not a good Zuki, then like it's just a disaster. It becomes a disaster. Judgment comes for you. No, no, that's not a good start. Double miss. Ouch. Ah, uh, yikes. I don't I don't get to block either of those things with I just That sucks. I'll go for the dash here and then aim it this way. To try and catch uh both of them. Uh, I'm not playing a good front line though. Uh, I don't, I'll have to do with that. Yeah, that works out right. Unleashing the reserves. Nice, you got a pretty good double there. Miss, good stuff. And great attacks with behind the guard. It's only a partial guard though, I think. Or wait, isn't that all what guard is? It's just a partial guard? Whereas a full guard is negating it. Something like that. So, hit Gray, but she's probably gonna dash. I can't really hit anyone else except Zuki. I think Zuki is probably my best bet here. And then try and follow her and just stay on her. That's probably my best bet. Someone like Rampart's much better as a frontline tank. I'll try and play the Disruptor. Disrupt Zuki, disrupt Dr. Finn. And whenever Gray is around, I can try and hit her, but it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, guaranteed on. Oh, well, wow. Gray isn't actually going to dash away. If I was that Gray, that's what I would have done. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm still here. She's probably still not going to dash. I, mean, I can disrupt her a little bit. I can even go for the... Oh, I can actually move her forward. <laughs> That's great. That is really cool. And I'll try and block her attack from the front if I can. And then move... And I'll try and follow her. That's it. It'll be really bad if she dashed here. She's, there's no way she dashes here, though. I'm playing a, I think I'm playing a pretty good disruption game, but as soon as doing the exact same thing back here. But at least my Zuki is being unhindered while hers is. And I did my I did in the wrong direction again. There's something with that. Like I feel like I'm clicking in the right direction, but then like maybe I move my mouse to the last second before I actually confirm it and it messes it up. But still, I may actually be able to block a gray shot anyway. I'll stick you like a pig. Yeah, okay. So it actually turned out for the better, but in general I'd rather block Zuki's shot. Oh, she didn't actually go forward across here. She, what? She didn't get knocked back, but she didn't get because she didn't hit the ground. That's annoying. Oh, that is not good. I really need her to be knocked, uh, knocked away. She may actually be going for this health pack. I'll try and follow her past there and pick it up myself if she doesn't. And if she does, then I can try and lock her down a little bit more. Okay, so it's a complete miss. That's really nice. If I was at Zuki, I'd probably be going for that health pack, so I'll try and follow her there. Gray moves to her drone, which means I'm not going to get hit by the regular one. Get a nice hit on Dr. Finn. Gremlin. Putting some mines down. Okay, Asuna. She's probably going to be going for ult pretty soon. Ah, uh, no, she doesn't. That's, I'm pretty sure ult's a dash. Yeah, there she is. That's where I thought she'd be. So I can just hit her here and she, unless she goes for a dash, which she's very unlikely to do. And I can just try and follow her. Just keep disrupting her. If I can just keep soaking up all her damage, the rest of my team doesn't have to worry about her. Especially Arzuki. And I'm pretty sure Gr uh, Gremlin can, uh, can deal with Asuna without too much trouble. Uh, at least I hope I'm doing this right. I actually have no idea what the more competitive side of this game is like. So I've literally not watched anyone else play Atlas Reactor except maybe like Total Biscuit like a year and a half ago. <laughs> and that was just like his first look or his... Uh, WTF is. The I'm pretty sure that's actually what got me into Atlas Reactor. Assuming I'm remembering correctly. Alright, so I think this game is pretty much over. I think, I'm not sure if I was the one who made us lose, but it's, it's definitely not looking good. Yeah, we have like no vision here either. And there's no point in using my vision. Actually, maybe there is. I'll do it like right here. Uh, yikes, this is bad. Later, suckers. Okay, so she is dashing out. At least I blocked some of that damage, too. I, still got some moves. I got the, the side down so I can see her where she goes next. Hopefully. It occurs in the blast phase, so... No, I'm gonna get. She's gonna stop me from following her. I guess I just don't move anywhere if I can't see her. At least Great Wasted her ult. No, I moved towards her once I got vision of her. No, I need to dash out or else I'm gonna get hit by that thing again. I'll try and keep Zuki locked down here. Yeah, like. Am I doing the wrong thing by playing the disruption game on the Zuki? I'm not actually really doing anything about it. I'm not actually like how much like how much damage have I gotten in so far? Like 166. I have the most damage on my team, but it's still not giving me that much. I've also taken the most damage. And I've also not died, so maybe I am doing <laughs> maybe I am doing the right thing. Who knows? So that's gonna be a wasted ult. And I have a rooted down. So I I got out of two ults. Or I gotta have 1.5 volts. Because I got hit by one portion of Zuki's ult. Alright, she has her, her warp left, right? She does. And if I was her, I'd use it now. So I don't want to target her, I don't think. We know Asuna's right here. 
I actually may want to uh, try and dash out here. Do something like this. It gives me uh, two chances of hitting someone. Although one of those chances is really, really low, and the other one's pretty low. Huh, she didn't go for the, the warp out. Interesting. And I didn't get hit by the that's really nice. And I can even use my ult next, but if she doesn't she if she doesn't dash out now, I'd be really surprised. Maybe she didn't dash out because she knew she had a Suna backing her up. Now she's running away, so she doesn't necessarily need have to dash anymore. Doesn't go nearly far enough to do anything. Maybe I'd just do something like this. Guard forward. And then maybe try and follow over here. Oop, that was close. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Touch me and bleed. Refreshing. I don't even know if that Aegis is good at all anyway. No dashes. Wow. That's incredible. My body betrays me. Why would Zuki not dash there though? She is really holding on to that warp. Ah, uh, but she's still not, just not close enough. She has like two to three more guaranteed actions just by surviving with five health. That's kind of suck. That kind of suck. And I didn't, I didn't move. Why didn't I move? No, I needed to move there. I'm just gonna have to like sprint all the way in and see what I can do. See what I can do. Alright, so there's like no way we're going to catch up to her because she has both of her dashes. So we need to focus on trying to uh, nail down Zuki and trying to get rid of Dr. Finn. And then dealing with Asuna afterward and letting Grade come to us after she needs to dash in. Or rather, she's not going to dash in, but... Can you keep up? She's good right there. I'm really low on health. I don't have anything else in my... Uh, my I don't know how many more summoner spells, quote unquote. So it's pretty much a guaranteed kill then, right? I wonder if walking through that is actually going to hurt me. Okay, I didn't walk through it. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. <laughs> yes. Here we go. And I'll try and follow after Dr. Finn if I can. But I'm probably going to die. There's no way I get another action after this. But at the very least, uh, because they're so grouped up in the way that they are and so limited on dashes, or they're just going to die anyway, yeah, this is this is really good. This is like a triple kill like right here. But at the same time we have two kills lined up for them as well. In like three and four. Yeah. <laughs> this game is pretty much lost, but we can we can hope. Ouch. I'm not supposed to get hit. Oh, okay. As soon as it misses. I may actually survive this turn. There's uh, just about almost a double kill on our team. Okay, that's two kills. I have her locked down. Oh wow, I got I get one more turn. And I pick up a health pack. Really good, really good. Okay, block against this and then go for the attack. She is guarding. She's guarding. She's gonna die. I'll just try and follow her then. Oh man, they're gonna get the the other two kills they need on like this next turn, and then we lose. Come at me then. Let's play again. Okay, so I get one more turn <laughs> to try and do something, anything. She may actually run over those. That would be really nice. She doesn't. 
So I'll just do this, I guess. Like, nothing I can do could even kill her by this point, though. I just don't have enough damage. Yeah, there's not really anything I can do at this point. I just kind of follow her and then lose. Go on. I dare you. Face me, heathen. Yep, there's the death. I am the hunter. You are the prince. No death. Rip. Defeat. The only way. Howdy, howdy. Like, I want to say that was close, but <laughs> I don't think it was. What was the score? What was this ending score? So I died once as opposed to two, two and zero. So yeah, Gremlin was the other person on my team that was doing pretty well. Uh, 334, pretty good damage, and 374, pretty good damage received. Uh, yeah, it was Asuna, it was their gray. They just did too much, like especially the Asuna. I think what it is, she like she completely out disrupted me. Maybe I should have I should have kept trying to disrupt Asuna from disrupting our team, but I don't know. I think she still would have gotten away with it, and then I would have gotten nothing. I don't think necessarily what I did was particularly wrong i just think like the opposing asuna was so on our game it was hard for us to do anything in return like we had three backliners and then just like the one disruption slash tank whereas they had a like they had a disruption uh mobile a backline and then they had dr finn uh so i don't know it was kind of it was just kind of tricky in general oh well yeah right not the same map good stuff maybe that just maybe that map just isn't really good for me all right, so where am I going to be going here? Where am I going to be going? Maybe just like right here. It's kind of safe. Oh, that was fast. Recently spawned. He's going to switch. He's probably going to dash. I should probably shield up anyway. And then go for... Where are the rest of the people? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to have to use a freaking thing. That's okay. I'll try and get into this back line and disrupt him if I can. Have you met my doppelganger? Yep, there's the double dash, just as I expected. Just in case I put up the Aegis if they both attacked me, that would have been really bad. You forced my hand. And now I have a pretty good vision on their back line. Well, I guess not. <laughs> I guess the lack of information is information as well. I guess we know now Gray's way over here. I really wish I could zoom out a little bit more on these maps. It's a little bit not enough. Okay, Kaigen's in our back line. Not really though, it's just Oz. And then there's the other person. There's Gray. Where's the fourth person? Oz, Gray, Kaigen. Oh, it's it's Pup. He's gonna uh, dash on somebody soon. And I'll move this way if I can. Yeah, Pup is about to beat someone up over here. I'm a trouble with a capital me. Alright, pretty nice. Getting some damage on Kaigen. Oz got a little bit of damage on me, but that's perfectly fine. I got some damage back on him. Because the damage on him is a lot even though it's the same exact amount of damage, because he has less health, it's more effective. I'm doing more effective damage. So there's Poppy actually bit down someone. He missed though. His Oz switch. Phaedra's not looking too good though with only 40 health. Hopefully I can hit Gray with this. If I don't, I'm taking it. No, she's, I'm not going to hit her with that. Maybe I can hit Oz. Something like this. That's risky too though. All these moves are really risky. So I think I'll just heal and move. And then see where I can go from there. Because no otherwise, all my other options are too low, uh, too low in possibility to work. Full of surprises. Gotta run. 
Yeah, there's the dash from her. Oz is nowhere to be seen. Uh, so yeah, going for your healers. there's it, 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 it can be difficult to find a good a, a good time to heal uh, in the later parts of the game because you don't want to necessarily be running away when you're trying to attack and even up the score or whatever it is or gain momentum. Using it a little bit earlier to try and heal up some of that initial damage is really nice, while at the same time not losing too much momentum because it's you know it's early. Okay, so he still has his dash, which he could use. Maybe I should use my dash here and get in there. Do something like this, and then open it up like that. It's pretty possible that I actually get uh, a double miss on this, but I think it's worth going for. While at the same time, if Oz goes for the switch, I can follow up with more attacks on him next turn. And I just want nothing to do with Gray right now. Oh, nice. I got the double hit. It was worth dashing, it was worth dashing in for that. Nice, pretty good hit from Oz. Kaigen's almost dead. Because he's not, he, because he's behind cover, he's gonna get another guaranteed action, it looks like. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, nice. Things are going pretty well. So Kaigen's like 100% gonna dash. Uh, don't know where Oz is right now. Gray's a little bit out of my reach. Maybe I can hit Gray right here. There's no real reason for her to warp out, so it's a pretty guaranteed hit. And just in case, I'll guard against this way. No, it's not necessary. I'll try and follow Kagan wherever he goes. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't warp like somewhere over here. And hopefully I can just follow him there. Oz, Oz has the same line of thinking too. Oh, he didn't go for a dash. Well. I guess he really wanted to get the attack off. I'm not sure it's worth it though. Get him. Oh no, <laughs> Kaigen just barely survives. Alright, I need to get out of here. I'm just gonna warp out. Warp where though? Maybe just like somewhere right here. But that's where Oz is gonna be going. Damn, this sucks. Oh, this is bad. Uh, going for a warp there would have been just straight bad because I still would have gotten hit by their attacks anyway. But if I defend from the front, at least I can do no, uh, less than the damage I take. Which I think is more effective than using the dash here. So he goes behind me. <sighs> okay, I blocked some of that damage. Jeez, he still did a lot though. Alright, next turn. Our, my options are so limited right now. And Kaiken died. We're losing momentum so fast. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you know what? I can actually block up both of these, but it's not gonna work. We're so far behind on uh, tempo. Oh, this is terrible. I can't even do anything either. Uh, this is this is so bad. We're like we just lost by this point. Like we don't even have any of them besides Kaigen low enough to try and get a kill kill back. And like they have like a couple of turns where they can just go all in on both me and uh, our other life person. And I got hit by this stupid drone now. Oh, and Phaedra's low too. Can we just like FF by this point? Come on, man. Just like <laughs> it didn't work. How do I get that thing to go away? <laughs> yeah, no more dashes, so I basically just go for the attack here and then just die. And I guess go over there or something, I don't know. Uh, disappointing. How do I get this stupid chat box to go away? Pressing escape is not doing it. Pressing enter is not doing it. Oh, see this one. Yeah. <sighs> one death with 147 damage. Look at their damage. It almost, it's like almost double ours. I. I well, that's probably my last game of the day. 
Oh man, how many? I've been playing like two hours of Brienne. Yeah, but almost two hours exactly. Brienne. That's probably a good time to stop. Overall, like, really cool character. I can definitely see the limitation of her abilities as opposed to someone like Asana. But I don't think she's strictly bad or anything like that. She has a lot of disruption, like like stopping people from moving. So I think in like if you're going up against a team or if you're going up against a meta rather, that has a lot of like Kaigens and Greys and you know a lot of these like squishier high mobile high mobile characters. If you can just like lock them down and then like start using the knockbacks and everything, the rest of your team can just pile in and kill them. I think even though I think she does have some really good solo potential, I think she does need a little bit more team coordination so they can work in tandem with your knockbacks. But as opposed to just being alone, I think uh, Asuna just does her job better. And Asuna has a little bit more damage, a little bit more general utility. While also at the same time not having as much disruption, of course, but... But still a really cool character. She has... He has a dash, so there's not really anything I can do here except hit. And then move away. Maybe I can follow him. We'll see if we can do that. Alright. Does F1 get rid of it? Nope. Does F2? Nope. F3? Nope. I don't know how to get rid of the stupid chat box. Oh, it finally went away. I guess you gotta like click it and click it away. Also, where did... Oh, he only dashed right there. I had no idea where he was gonna dash, so it's not really... There's not really much point in trying to aim for him. If, there's, if I had a little bit more coordination, maybe I could've... Uh, used my attack away from what's-his-face, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, nice. I don't trip that trap. <laughs> don't trip that trap. I'm gonna go here and then hit this. Cause hitting this guy is pretty much effectively dead, right? Yeah, he's pretty much dead from Kaigen. So I can instead go for this double hit on these guys. And maybe we can <laughs> get some return kills for our pride. Yeah, it's pretty good. Wow, a double kill, but Kaigen's still alive. And then he's gonna die and then we're gonna lose. <laughs> or Oz is gonna die and then we're gonna lose on turn, you know, 13. Oh, nope, I blocked the attack from hitting him, actually. Wow, how about that? Oh, never mind. We lost on turn 13. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. That was bad. That's like one of the fast, like I think the fastest I've ever lost in like my hundred and you know by this point like hundred twenty hours of playing was probably something like um like turn I think it's like pretty much turn thirteen maybe turn like as soon as maybe eleven I'll figure out what all this stuff means later I have hundred percent kill KP. Pretty good vision, but then like bad everything else. I guess this is kind of cool since it ranks you. I'm pretty sure because like it's like orange and then like what green then blue or something. No, no, it has to be green the best, right? I don't know. Anyway, score so 195, second most damage next to Oz. One death compared to two. Uh, 279. They took a lot more damage than I did, but I also kind of deflected some. I don't know. That was a that was a pretty Pretty tough game. Their Oz did was uh, pretty carry hard right there. 4 0 and 400 damage. Took next to no damage. I kind of stuck on him, but he still got away from me, I guess. Oh well, that's it. Thanks for watching.